For children, homelessness can be disruptive, both psychologically and educationally. At Transition House, the utmost importance is paid to giving children a stable and secure environment. And softly they step down the quiet hall. With children in school, well, there's an educational theory called Maslow's Theory of Needs. And um, basically, it's that kid, you know, people need their basic needs met before they can learn. So a homeless child into not getting their basic needs met, the bottom line is that they're not gonna learn at the potential, at their greatest potential. When the kids are coming into the shelter, they've oftentimes um, not only been dealing with a lot of the different emotional and physical issues of moving around from place to place or living in any number of kind of unstable environments, but they've also been switching schools and this is this is a really difficult thing on, on their learning and education. Every time they have to move um, and start over at n a new school, I mean, they're starting all over again. Homeless infants and babies and children are the most innocent individuals in this phenomenon of family homelessness. Um, studies have shown that homeless babies develop at a slower rate than housed babies and that um, homeless children are four times more likely to have developmental delays. They are more likely to suffer from hyperactivity um, disorders and um, anger management issues that affect the classroom, that affect um, their future down the line, which makes it more likely that they too um, will be homeless. The results are very clear that the cost benefit for helping a child at an early age is just all in society's favor. To provide a child with a safe and nurturing home environment will pay off in the long run as that child grows up to be a productive, tax-paying citizen. From childcare for the very young to its program Technology and Literacy for Children, known as TLC, to the volunteers who help with homework or the many other activities designed to enchant and educate, Transition House strives to reach out to the most vulnerable and precious of the homeless. <laughs> Within three to four months of their stay at the shelter, families that need more time may apply for the second stage, called Firehouse, located in a refurbished fire station. Welcome, this is Firehouse. This is the second stage. So those are the rooms. Um, we have six rooms here at the firehouse, six family. Life at Firehouse is communal, allowing families to build up friendships and support networks with other families. Case management continues, and close attention is paid to budgeting and savings. Families create monthly spending plans, purchase their own groceries, and pay a portion of their income in rent. After six months at the firehouse, if they need more time, they can move to our third stage program. It's called the Homes Program, and it consists of affordable apartments that are owned by Transition House. The family applies to move into the Homes Program for up to two years, and on their application, they actually have to write a self-sufficiency plan that shows how they'll be able to pay market rate rent and move on after two years from these apartments. While they're there, they have to continue to participate in case management, continue to save money, they continue to do monthly spending plans, and they work on this goal that they stated in their application. Love you. Yep. We had our apartment, we, we were paying our rent on time. We didn't have any problem that we were aware of. We were on a six month lease. Our um, lease came up, all of a sudden we had an eviction notice on our door. The They're causes of family homelessness are buried, and every story is unique. Before I became homeless, I just thought that there was only a few homeless people out on the street, but once I became homeless, um, I realized that there was a lot of homeless people, and most of them are families. My name's Darren. I was, uh, this is my son, Luke. This is Wyatt, and yeah. Big Nick and we've been uh, without a home for 
approximately four and a half months now. Uh, I used to work offshore, but uh, I was gone for long stretches of long periods of time. I was away from the house, and uh, since mom's no longer with us, uh, I've had to uh, create a new career path. So it's I'm on the uh, I'm on the verge of doing that. I've, I've acquired a new job now, and um, thanks to this uh, transition house, uh, we've been able to do that and uh, sock away some money for a deposit, and uh, we're close to finding a new place. Hi, my name is Kathleen, and this is my son, Jeremy. We became homeless approximately nine months ago. A series of events came about which my son was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver. Um, I fell and broke my hip. Our house was flooded, our house was robbed twice, and then our house went into foreclosure and put us on the streets. And we came to the transition house in November. It's very, very hard on the street. It's very hard. And uh, I never dreamt that I would ever be in this situation. I don't think anybody does. And it's just been, I feel like this place has really saved our lives. Just look at us right now. We have an apartment, we have a place to be, and we are really thankful for that. The program really works. It works. We are the proof that we have a place to live. As we have learned, anyone can become homeless. But more importantly, anyone can be saved from homelessness. And thousands have. For a young homeless mother, there was no place left to turn but to Transition House. I was uh, 22 and um, I was pregnant. You know, I, I, I prayed about it and was led to have my baby. So then I had to figure out how I was gonna live. And um, you know, I didn't start off here. I started off in a maternity home. And then, but once your child is two months, you know, maternity homes are exactly that. They're for maternity. Once you have a child, now you're a mother. So now they put you out. You have to go somewhere. You have to figure it out. You know, so at two months after you have a baby, you're trying to figure out where you're going to go. And so um, I came here and I did the program and I, it, it allowed me to get a PhD. That's the bottom line. It allowed me to think clearly. It allowed me to, to, um, to figure things out. You know, they had training, they had people helping you, there was support. So you're not just surviving, but you're trying to thrive. You're like, okay, I've got the survival part down. My basic needs are met. How can I become a self-sufficient person? And you get to figure that out. And so I did. <laughs> In June of 2005, Nicole Williams graduated from UCSB and earned her doctoral degree. For us, the Transition House has given us um, just an invaluable experience. You know, it's changed our lives in ways that even six months ago, I felt might not happen. For basically the first time in a very, very long time, I feel like in the most positive position that I've ever been. And I feel like from this point, I hope that I'm in a position to be able to give back to places like this that have helped me out. That's, this place has inspired me to do that. And. Uh... <clears throat> where we would be without this place, I, wouldn't, I don't even want to venture into that. I look back at our story like, okay, when we first came, we're kind of hesitant, nervous, like, oh, we didn't know what to expect. And like she, like she just said, that uh, we, we think about coming back and volunteering time and hours to, to give back some kind of way. Amen. Amen. Shana and Randy are now working full-time and have returned to permanent housing. As have Kathleen and Jeremy, Star and her daughter, and Darren and his boys. These are just a few of more than 10,000 stories. Stories of lives transformed when a community came together in the spirit of neighbor helping neighbor.